beer has become a recognizable part of celebrating many events, but none quite as much as St. Patrick's Day. In Wichita, we know how to party for St. Patty's. Parades, food, and yes, beer. The craft beer scene in Wichita is hot right now, and a local brewery is about to give us an inside look at a St. Patrick's Day favorite, their pride of the islands, Irish Red Ale. The process of making this beer takes months, and it isn't always easy. Pretty close, I turned it down back to 20. Fail, fail. Here we go. Kaboom, champagne. But the end result is a delicious beer that people end up loving. Please, St. Gambrinus, be truthful and honest. Aeroplanes Brewing has a sweet setup in Wichita. Inside the historic Delano Shopping and Entertainment District, their facility is decorated and named after Wichita's proud aviation past. From airplane paintings to a bar made from a Beechcraft airplane wing. And while a pretty place to get a drink is nice, what you are drinking is much more important. That's where head brewer Troy Burvick comes in. Well, we don't do it for the money, that's for sure. Specially trained in beer making, he says the Irish Red Ale quickly became a St. Patrick's Day favorite. I would assume it's just because it's an Irish red, you know? Everyone wants to think Irish, even when you're not Irish, on, on St. Patty's Day. Last year, Aeroplanes Brewing served 15,000 people for St. Patrick's Day, and the most popular drink, the Irish Red. Yesterday morning, before we filled this tank again, we moved the Irish Red to this bright tank here. Burvig leads a team of people to make the Irish Red and many other beers at the brewery. One of those staffers is Drew Scanlon. I wouldn't give this up for anything. He fell in love with beer making just a few years ago. It's hard work, but has a sweet reward. I get to make something that I love and share it with, with the community and see how, how, they, how they like it and how they share it with other, others they love. This batch of Irish Red took two months to craft, and it all comes down to this. A quick taste test of the beer before any more cans are made. Malty on the front end, exactly how it should be. It passed. That's good news for the founder of the brewery, Lance Miner. Aeroplanes is really about making well-balanced and approachable beers, so it's all about finding a beer that you connect with. We're not beer snobs when it comes to craft beer. Uh, in fact, at this point, we're not really even calling it craft beer as much as we're just calling it beer. Canning this beer is a process in itself. Stacks of shiny aluminum cans reaching 10 feet high. Machines help pour the beer and add the labels. The rest is on the staff at Aeroplanes to get ready. We do about 33 cans a minute. Uh, if we were Anheuser-Busch, we would be filing for bankruptcy in three, two, one. But uh, seeing that we're not Anheuser-Busch, the speed is just fine. The beer isn't only a St. Patrick's Day brew, but with it being so popular, it usually sells out when the celebrations are running green. The pride of the island's Irish red ale. You will only find it in Wichita, the heart of the country.